video I just wanted to show you a few quick shortcuts for doing different things with your designs so I've just got myself a basic template here today and I'm just going to show you a couple of quick tips one thing I noticed is if you wanted a circle a square rectangle line some of the basic common elements that you use in your designs you can go to the elements section you can search for them you can go to shapes um, fantastic way of doing it but I've also discovered if you press R on your keyboard a beautiful rectangle appears um, also another one if you press the C a circle appears and if you press L a line appears and lastly if you press T the text box appears so you can press T and you can text straight away fantastic little shortcuts for just a few of the common elements that are used every day in um, our designs also I have discovered if I just delete my circle and the paragraph the line element is a lovely element but it is quite thick and you cannot reduce the thinness without reducing the length as you can see it's getting nice and thin but I now cannot get it any longer and stay that thin so the line element is a great element but if you wanted to make a nice divider for your website or you wanted to have something divided in your uh, design for your social media the line element is not overly usable but what you can do is use this track user rectangle so if you press R on your keyboard a lovely rectangle will appear and this is a great little element because you can make it go as thin as nothing <laughs> one pixel will be more than thin enough for you but you can see you can make it go as thin as you want and also being a filled rectangle you can put uh, you can change the color any colors that you fancy that suit your design your website you can change the color you change the color you can change the thickness um, and you can also stretch it out as much as you want as thin as you want so use the rectangle if you're trying to get a really nice thin line the other one I recommend using for textures is the grid the grid is a fantastic element just choose the plain bog standard square grid because again you can use these tiny little white lines top and bottom you can make this go as thin again as one pixel so this one is brilliant if you want to make a nice divide for your website which I suggest you do because it really does make pages stand out and by doing that go to photos if you have a particular theme in mind so we've got the zebra theme here that's been recently used by me click it drag it across and it will implant it straight into your grid any others again brick wall um, any photos anything that takes your fancy that works for your website for your business you can drag it across and bring it in it's fantastic as well because you can make it as small and as thin as you want using the tiny little circles and uh, lines at the top and bottom sides of your design so if you just wanted something nice and thin just to have somewhere on your design use these two so click R for the rectangle to come up um, on your design straight away that's click R on your keyboard and then use the grid for a, a line that you can add a texture or a pattern to there are hundreds and hundreds of images and patterns in the Canva program so if you just go to photos and just type in at the top whatever type of pattern you're after and you will you will find it there's absolutely hundreds of them all different types of patterns and backgrounds that you can use right so that is me for today i quite like this pink pink one so i thought i'd just um just put that one in there just a very nice pale pink pink line there so there you go so today you have learned if you press an r you get a rectangle 
If you press a C, you get a circle. If you press an L, you get a lovely line that you can use for a lot. And if you press T, you get your text box up straight away. And then two ways of creating thin lines for your social media and your websites.